Coming up on HDMI Test Bench, we use a variety of tools, including Meridio's 8K Fox and Hound Test Kit. To check out this, this is Fiber's Ultra 8K2 HDMI AOC Fiber Optic Cable. And I'll also tell you how you can win one of these for free. Stick around. <laughs> How's it going, home theater fans? My name is Todd with avnirvana.com, and today we have Fiber's flagship AOC HDMI cable back here in the workshop and on the bench. This is an ultra high speed cable designed to meet the current HDMI 2.1 specification, and in this particular case, it exceeds it with a 56 gigabits per second bandwidth. As you may recall, the spec calls for 48 gigabits per second. This particular cable utilizes a new proprietary chip that manages 14 gigabits per second across each of the cable's four data channels. We've been working on a reliable way to measure the cable's power draw. Haven't quite gotten there yet. However, Fiber says the cable has ultra low power consumption, only requiring 220 milliwatts, which I believe might actually be a typo. I think they're referring to milliamps, which would land this cable's power consumption under 2.1's specification of 300 milliamps. In other words, you don't need to use an external USB 5 volt power source to uh, properly run this cable. This particular cable uses fiber manufactured by YOFC in China and is designed to handle tight bends to the cable itself. Included on each plug head is what fiber calls a skeleton transparent window, which allows you to see the fibers glow when they're properly connected. In line with this cable's ultra high speed designation, it offers full support of 8K 60 Hertz and 4K 120 Hertz video with 12 bit color and coverage of the BT 2020 color gamut. Of course, it's compatible with older HDMI specs and 3D video. Here in the United States, fiber products are sold through its web store on amazon.com. This particular cable is available in length starting at one meter all the way up to 20 meters, which is roughly 65 feet of length. Our sample is 10 meters long and carries a price tag of 1,799 bucks, which is hefty, but that price is definitely driven by the fact that it's handmade and carries an advanced chip. HDMI chips capable of more than 40 gigabits per second definitely come at a much higher cost. The cable arrives in packaging that is befitting of an expensive product. Now, the first thing you should always check for is an ultra high speed cable certification label. Scan that with the free HDMI certification cable app and confirm that the information is correct. For this particular cable, everything checked out. You can see here that the box is attractive and the cable arrives neatly tied with Velcro straps and anti-static bags over each connector head to protect the chips embedded within them. Physically, this cable receives high marks for fit and finish. In terms of physical measurements, this 10 meter cable arrives true to length, if not a little longer. My in-house measurements actually say it lands closer to 34 feet. Here you can see exact measurements of the cable's various physical parts. The cabling is notably thin, so it won't take up much room in a conduit and can easily be pushed in gaps between a rug and a baseboard. You can see it's static bend measurement in the lower right corner. That measurement is about, I'd say half of what you'd find with a thicker all copper cable. One thing to note is the length of the actual head of the casing for this cable, in addition to the reinforcement that is added in between the cable and the head itself. You can see those measurements right here. The casing is actually about twice as long as what you typically find. In terms of real world use, I'd recommend you allow about 3.6 inches between the back of a component and any sort of surface or wall. That distance will keep you from putting any undue stress on the cable itself or the actual HDMI port in the back of your component. In terms of performance, we analyzed the cable using Meridio's 8K Fox and Hound test kit, along with real world tests using six different sources. First up is the Fox and Hound's cable test mode, where we asked it to confirm a five volt connection and 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth. And you can see there, it passes. Next, we challenged the cable with an 8K 60 Hertz signal uh, that included HDCP 2.2 and all eight channels of audio. 
and you can see there that the cable had no problem handling that task. So the Meridio 8K Fox and Hound kit gives this cable a solid pass. Next, we challenge the cable with a variety of real world sources, including uh, Apple TV 4K, Roku Ultra 4K, Clydescape Strato C 4K player, Panasonic UB820, and also a uh, Nintendo Switch. Here you can see the connection with the Panasonic player. It's playing a 4K version of the film Gemini Man, which is a 4K 60 Hertz film, and there are zero issues. Also, lag as tested with a Nintendo Switch was, according to my eyes, non-existent. Taking all of that into account, Fiber's Ultra 8K to AOC cable, boy, that is a mouthful to say, but this cable gets the HDMI test bench stamp of approval. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to buy this cable or a variation of it, there is a link over to their Amazon web store right down in the description below. Also, we're giving one away over on our home theater form at avnirvana.com. Completely free to enter. You just have to be a registered member of our site. That is free also. We have Facebook login available to you uh, if you don't wanna go through the registration process, but super easy to enter to win. And uh, that contest will be wrapping up rather soon. So head on over and enter. All right, folks, we'll see you next time on HDMI Test Bench.